It's lunchtime. But at this elementary school, Mustafa and Noor can't eat or drink water, even though it's one of the hottest days all year, because they are fasting. My mother wakes me up at 2 in the morning. Then I'm allowed to eat. The exact time changes. There's an extra calendar for that, and I can eat till 3 a.m. It's OK to eat at that time. Then I go back to sleep. It's not that bad, because I don't get that hungry. Most of the children in this Berlin school come from Muslim families. Not all of them are strict when it comes to obeying the rules of Ramadan. In the middle of the night, you wake up and eat as much as you can. Then your stomach stretches because it's full. And the next day it constricts. And that's bad for your health. That's why I think fasting is not a good idea. I fasted at school in the past, but my mom told me if it's too hot and the sun is shining brightly, then I should stop fasting. I only fast on the weekends, because if I do it while I'm at school, I can't concentrate. I fall asleep. School principal Astrid Sabine Busse observes that in the last few years, an increasing number of very young students take the Muslim rule of fasting very seriously. I don't know of any other religious community that considers itself so important that the school has to change its schedule to suit them. For me, this is a no-go. Religion is something very private. We have religious freedom in Germany, but we can't reorganize the school system to enable it. The school is in the Berlin district of Neukölln, where a lot of Muslims live. Here, opinion on whether children should fast is divided. If it's voluntary, it's fine, but if they're forced to do it, no. If they're convinced, then it's okay. Kids are entitled to an opinion, too. It would be better for children if they stayed at home during Ramadan. In Germany, staying home is not an option because schooling is mandatory. And Noor and Mustafa have to perform the same tasks as their classmates who are not fasting. I don't have any problems with this. I'm just thirsty sometimes. My mother always says, if I can't go on, then it's okay to drink or eat something. Then I just have to break my fast. Mustafa is lucky. He can fast without being put under pressure. There are no clear rules in Islam concerning at what age children must begin fasting.